Hey, in this video, you will learn how to set up a live stream using StreamYard within your Workly event. So why would you need that? For now, on the main stage, if you enter the main stage, the standard setting is that you have a video call where you can see the other attendees like this one now. For larger attendee groups of, let's say, 30 people plus, uh, up to currently 300, potentially soon maybe soon 500 or maybe 1000, we recommend you to use a live stream to scale it up. So how do you set up this live stream? And you can do this with six simple steps that I will show you now. So first of all, you go to streamyard.com and create an account. Once you have an account, you have the option here to create a broadcast. Let's do that. If you create a broadcast, you have the option to select the different streaming destinations where you would like to stream to. At the beginning, this would of course be empty for you, so you can simply click here on the plus to add a streaming destination. And you can link it up, for example, with your Facebook page to stream directly to your Facebook page, to your LinkedIn page, to your YouTube channel, to Twitch, or to a custom RTMP server. So we already have set up Twitch and that's what would happen. So you would be linked, for example, here to the Twitch page to authorize access to your page. Since we have already done this, I've simply, I will simply select here the Twitch page and you can give this spe specific stream a title. So let's say that's the test stream and I can create the broadcast. So now you will see the broadcast studios being prepared and you have a camera check, your mic check, and then you can simply give also a display name and you can simply enter the broadcast studio. And that's how StreamYard looks like. Well, great. That's already the first step, first step, or the first two steps that you have done. So you have logged into StreamYard, created the broadcast, and you have the streaming destination created and set up. So what you need to do next is to simply copy this URL that you have here at the top, or you also have the same URL here if you click on invite, it's the same URL that you can copy to your clipboard. If you have done that, you go back to your event and then open your um, cockpit. The cockpit you can access by clicking on your profile image and say cockpit. And here on the main stage, as you can see, we currently use a Jitsi video conference or you can also select the live stream. In order to get access to the backstage that you can see here at the bottom, um, you need to actually use the live stream. And as a live stream, it asks you for a streaming URL that um, we will update later. But first, you will update here this StreamYard URL that we have just copied. So the StreamYard Studio link needs to be added to the backstage area. If this is uh, disabled, just make sure to enable it, then you can enter it here. The next step is to configure the main stage. So what people actually see on the main stage. So currently this is just a YouTube video, but we have decided that we are streaming to Twitch, right? So what we need to do is simply to go to our Twitch channel, um, which is twitch.tv slash workly. And then update this live stream URL here. So this is basically the, your, your StreamYard studio and this is the output URL wherever you're streaming to. If you stream to YouTube, you need to add here your YouTube channel or the video link. Also the same accounts for Facebook, for LinkedIn um, and also for Twitch. Or if you stream to a custom RTMP server, like a private server that we can provide you, just let us know if you need it. We, can, we will give you a provide you with this live stream URL. So this is now all set up. So if you go back to the main stage, you will see that um, in the end, uh, it looks like this. So you have the option to go live or enter the main stage. And if you enter the main stage, you can see that the main stage is not live yet. So the last steps that we need to do is to assign, um, to first of all, to go live and then to assign speakers and the, the moderators as a speaker or as a host. So how do we do that? Um, basically you can now see that I'm not, I still don't have access to the backstage area. So if I want to get access, I need to click on the profile, 
click on this little icon here and for example set me as a host or as a speaker. I'll set myself now as a host and you can see immediately that I now get this additional button at the menu bar that's saying backstage. So I can now enter the backstage, continue and that's how it will look like for your um, speaker so they can access directly here in the podcast studio. Uh, as a host, I recommend you to go back to uh, the StreamYard account that you have and um, here you have more options like adding different banners and changing the brand and much, much more. So that's why we recommend using um, as a host using StreamYard on a separate window. And here you can also allow people to enter the stream and not. In order to now go live so that people can actually see you and your speakers on the main stage, it's just two more steps. The first is within StreamYard, you have this go live button at the top right. So when clicking that, say go live, you will see that there will be popping up this little live window on the top left here. And in your worthy event, if you enter the main stage, so let's just enter the main stage to show it to you, you have here the option um, again to go live or also to preview the live stream. So let's check it out. Let's have a preview of the live stream and yeah you can see that this is now live on Twitch it's playing on our channel it's a bit delayed of probably between 3 to 10 seconds depending on which channel you're using but you can see that it's live so now you can also confirm to your attendees that they can actually see you on the main stage by clicking go live and you will see it will pop up on the main stage in a large format so now people can follow what you're producing in the backstage they can follow now live on the main stage. And in the backstage, you can of course share your screen, set, invite other people, uh, select different cameras, and all the other features that StreamYard provides. So these are the six steps that you need to follow in order to create a live stream with StreamYard for your worldly event. Ah, oh, I almost forgot. When you're done with the stream, how to finish it, so again, you can, first of all, I would propose to end the live stream on the main stage so that people don't, um, they can't follow you anymore. And they will see, they will see uh, again, this image that the main stage is not live. And once that, that is done, you can also end the broadcast on your StreamYard studio. So you say end broadcast and um, you can rate it and you will now see that the stream out has ended after two minutes and you can re return to your dashboard and in the past, past broadcast you will see here the test stream and you can download the stream that was created um, for the next 10 days. All right, let us know if you have any feedback. Thank you so much. Bye.